In the midst of World War II, as nations clashed on battlefields and oceans, another kind of war was being waged one against time. The race to develop advanced radar technology had become critical for detecting enemy aircraft and ships. At Raytheon, an American engineering company, engineers worked tirelessly to refine magnetrons, these devices that generated powerful microwaves used in radar systems. Among them was Percy Spencer, a self-taught engineer with a knack for solving problems no one else could see. Spencer wasn't your typical scientist. Born into poverty in rural Maine, he had dropped out of school at age 12 to support his family after his father passed away. Despite his lack of formal education, Spencer possessed an insatiable curiosity and a gift for tinkering. By the time he joined Raytheon, he had already earned a reputation as a brilliant innovator who could turn complex challenges into elegant solutions. One fateful day in 1945, Spencer stood in a laboratory filled with humming machinery and glowing dials. He was testing a high-powered magnetron when something strange happened. As he leaned over the device, he felt a peculiar warmth in his pocket. Reaching inside, he pulled out a chocolate bar that had melted into a sticky mess. At first, he chuckled at the absurdity of it all, but then his mind began to race. Could the microwaves emitted by the magnetron be responsible? If so, what other effects might they have? Driven by curiosity, Spencer decided to experiment further. He grabbed a bag of popcorn kernels and placed it near the magnetron. Within moments, the kernels began to pop furiously, filling the lab with the unmistakable aroma of freshly made popcorn. His colleagues gathered around astonished. What they were witnessing seemed almost magical, a new way of heating food without fire or direct heat. But not everyone shared Spencer's excitement. When he proposed exploring this discovery further, skeptics dismissed the idea outright. Why would anyone need a machine to heat food? They scoffed. We've got stoves and ovens for that. To many, the concept seemed frivolous a distraction from more pressing wartime priorities. Yet Spencer refused to let go of his vision. He believed that this accidental discovery could change lives, making cooking faster, safer, and more efficient. With determination, Spencer built a crude prototype of metal box with a magnetron inside. It was rudimentary, but it worked. Food placed inside heated rapidly and evenly, thanks to the invisible waves of energy bouncing around the enclosed space. Spencer tested everything he could find, eggs which exploded dramatically, potatoes, sandwiches, even cups of water. Each success reinforced his belief that this invention had potential far beyond radar technology. Despite his progress, convincing others wasn't easy. Raytheon executives hesitated to invest in what they saw as a novelty item. After all, households had been cooking the same way for centuries why fix something that wasn't broken. But Spencer persisted, arguing that post-war America would need innovations that saved time and improved efficiency. Eventually, Raytheon agreed to take a chance, introducing the world's first commercial microwave oven in 1947, under the name Radarange. The Radarange, however, was anything but practical. Standing nearly six feet tall, weighing 750 pounds and costing thousands of dollars, it was designed primarily for restaurants, hotels, and industrial kitchens. Most consumers couldn't afford or even imagine a place for such a behemoth in their homes. For years, the microwave remained a niche product, struggling to gain traction outside specialized markets. But Spencer's vision didn't end there. Throughout the 1950s and early 1960s, engineers continued refining the technology, shrinking the size, lowering costs, and improving usability. Finally, in 1967, Raytheon introduced the first compact, affordable countertop microwave oven. This sleek, user-friendly model captured the public's imagination, sparking a revolution in how people prepared meals. Suddenly, families could reheat leftovers in minutes instead of hours. College students relied on microwaves to cook instant noodles in cramped dorm rooms. Busy professionals found a convenient way to prepare dinner after long days at work. The microwave became a symbol of modern convenience, freeing people from the drudgery of traditional cooking methods. Today, the microwave oven is a staple in nearly every home, transforming not just how we eat, but how we live. And it all started with a melted chocolate bar, a small, seemingly insignificant moment that changed the course of history.